Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Facebook Live proudly brings to you health, optimization, and accountability coach for the world's leading entrepreneurs, Ollie Jordan Matthews. And if you ain't down with that, I got two words for you. You know what they are. Anti-inflammatory diet. The anti-inflammatory diet. It gets branded about, chucked around every single day. I hear someone say, I'm going on a diet which is going to be anti-inflammatory. It's the anti-inflammatory diet. It's cool. Is there such a thing? The answer is obviously yes, because it gets branded around so much. But is it going to be right for you? The body's reaction when it gets certain things into its bloodstream is to have an inflammatory reaction. The body's reaction to training is to have an anti-inflammatory reaction. It needs to have that inflammation in order to adapt, to grow muscle, to repair, recover. So for example, if you want to have an anti-inflammatory diet straight after training, it's actually going to probably be detrimental to muscle growth. But that's going in a 100% different direction of where I wanted to go with this video. The anti-inflammatory diet based on having the whole foods that are based around anti-inflammatory foods. That's cool. There are certain foods which could be anti-inflammatory. However, this is based on those foods being anti-inflammatory for every single person in the world, which would never be the case. You see, I can eat broccoli, get the micronutrients, be able to digest it properly, have no problems at all. Someone else can eat broccoli, they can't digest all the nutrients in there. They get a bit bloated. The body, as a reaction, causes inflammation. Same thing with mushrooms, with chicken, with beef, with fish, with any food in the world. Even the foods which are classed as the most highest anti-inflammatory foods in the world, somebody could have a reaction to those foods, which, as a result, causes inflammation. So when we want to blanket cover a diet and call it an anti-inflammatory diet, that's cool. But just because it is anti-inflammatory for one person does not mean that it could be inflammatory and give issues to another. But what actually is the problem with having this? Well, a lot of people will look at their results based on the scales. And if you've seen my previous videos, you will know that I do not go just by the scales when it comes to results. I want to see what your energy is like, what your sleep is like, your skin, your hair, your focus, is your brain fog gone, what's your energy like in the afternoon, sex drive, what's your strength levels like, and maybe a number on the scales, body measurements as well. So many different things will see progression, not just that number on the scales. If we are going for a number on the scales and you have a food which is going to cause inflammation, the chances are the next day you could be holding a little bit more water. That will essentially mean you are going to weigh more. If we haven't looked at all those other things there, maybe we get the feeling that the diet isn't working, that we've put on weight, we need to lower the calories, which then will weaken your immune system, potentially causing more inflammation that your body cannot actually process. So you put on a little bit more water. All the time your body may be burning fat, but you're putting on more water. So you're seeing that weight and that number on the scales and it's going up and up and up, which is not what we want. So the anti-inflammatory diet, is it a thing? Yes, apparently is it, a th it is a thing. Is it something you should work at? Maybe just try something. If you feel better on it, cool. If you like certain foods and you feel better eating those foods, cool. But if these foods make you feel lethargic, you find your body a bit sluggish when you're trying to digest them, they put the number up on the scales, not necessarily just having loads of hamburgers, but foods you would think are healthy, but they end up making you gain water retention, maybe they're causing inflammation. If you're drinking milk or anything like that and then you get a reflux afterwards and you end up spending the next hour, two, three hours going <coughs> all the time, maybe you've had a reaction there. 
And those anti-inflammatory foods aren't so anti-inflammatory for you. When you see a diet, don't always judge a book by its cover.